I made a machine to sift my compost. It was a simple and fun project, and in the end, only cost me seven bucks. Here's a quick preview of the machine. I call it a sifter, but I guess this sort of thing is also called a trommel. The terminology aside, first, some backstory. I built this compost bin from a design from Family Handyman magazine, my absolute favorite, by the way. But it was starting to fill up, and I needed to sift what had decomposed from what had not. I could sift it by hand, but come on, who would want to do that? And wouldn't it just be more fun to build a machine to do it for me? And without further ado, the build. A five gallon bucket costs five clams. I had this scrap of metal hardware cloth lying around, which cost me three dollars. And then I wrestled with getting the handle off. I took some blue painter's tape and marked out some straight lines where I was going to cut out rectangular holes in the bucket. Then I took a spade bit and drilled out the corners. And then I sawed out the edges with a power jigsaw. Just a quick note, whenever you work with plastic, please do so indoors so you can vacuum up the mess and prevent that stuff from getting into the environment. Thank you for your consideration. I took the hardware cloth and wrestled it into position in the bucket, and then I held it in place with a couple of mini clamps. I then took some scraps of eighth inch aluminum flat bar and cut them into pieces roughly 11 or 12 inches long. This is to reinforce the bucket sides. I also made sure to file the ends to remove the sharp edges. Be sure to clamp things down so that your drill doesn't suddenly challenge you to a sword fight. After all, safety first, last, and always. That's how we wake up with all of our fingers, and our eyes, and our ding ding. Anyway, after drilling out holes for number eight bolts, I then took a larger drill bit and drilled out just a bit to deburr the original holes. It also happens to add a nice looking countersink. Then it was time to run bolts through the flat bar and through the sides of the bucket, and I secured them with large fender washers and nuts. More free stuff I had lying around. I had these old bed casters, and they happened to fit perfectly in a channel on the outside of the bucket. I also found a couple of 2x4 scraps and cleaned them up on the table saw. After drilling the holes for the casters to sit in the 2x4s, it was a matter of constructing the frame with the casters upturned so that the bucket would rotate freely. It was also important to construct the frame so that it was wide enough to sit across my wheelbarrow. And now for what was probably the craziest of the free things I made this machine out of. Apparently I'm now one of the dozen or so weirdos driving around our town on monthly rubbish day to see if there's anything useful. And one time people were tossing out three kids' Jeeps. I took one home and didn't feel super bad about taking it apart because it had no battery and therefore was pretty useless anyway. I got into salvaging motors from discarded machines from Jeremy Fielding's channel, which you should definitely check out because the guy's a total legend. He inspired me to take a shot at this. With a small pilot hole and a half inch spade bit, I made a hole in the bottom of the bucket for a half inch bolt. And together with a fender washer, a lock washer, and a nut, those were the only other things that cost money for this project. I ran the bolt through the black plastic part that I had salvaged from the kid's Jeep and attached it to the bottom of the bucket. I have no idea what that black plastic part is called, but if you have any idea, feel free to let me know in the comments. I wired up the motor to an old switch I had lying around and put the switch in an electrical wall box that I had also found on Rubbish Day. On the other side of the switch, I wired it to a six volt lantern battery from a kid's science fair project. I took a scrap piece of plywood and screwed it to the frame to hold the battery, the switch, and the motor. I used hose clamps to hold the motor down to the platform.
And the last step was just to tidy things up with some zip ties. Time to take it for a spin. All right, I wanna quickly go over how the project went. So first off, some things that went well. Uh, initially, my design was for something unnecessarily big and complicated, but I kept it simple. And I figured out a way to construct a simple machine to do what I needed. I used mostly things that people had tossed out or I had lying around. I love that. I love finding new life for old junk. I made a machine to save me the tedious effort of sifting all of my compost by hand. And this was my first time building a machine, so it was definitely out of my comfort zone. I'm psyched with how it ended up. And lastly, this project was a blast. I loved working on it. And now for the stuff that could be improved. The trommel slips off the casters sometimes and I have to put it back in place. Not ideal, but probably the price that I pay for the materials and parts that I used. The six volt lantern battery sometimes struggles when there's too much compost in the trommel. But a 12 volt battery spins the trommel too fast, so maybe I'll experiment with nine volts or something. But overall, good enough. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you want to be notified when I release future videos, please subscribe. And have an excellent day.